Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Capital Area School Development Association Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you're here. My name is Catherine, and I will be your facilitator for this session. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to use the Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. They are here, ready and available to answer your questions. This is one of many college presentations being offered. So feel free to check the schedule on the website for more. And lastly, all sessions are being recorded, including this one, and will be available at strivescan.com backslash C-A-S D-A-N-Y. We are currently in session A3, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And this is also the same order of presentation. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our very first representative from Elizabethtown College. Hi, everyone. My name is Polly Ornstein, and I'm the Senior Associate Director of Admissions at Elizabethtown College, um, and I'm happy to be here this evening. Um, I'm trying to get there we go. Um, sharing my screen here, I apologize in advance for the sound of my voice. I am getting over laryngitis, but E-Town College is located uh, just a little uh, east of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We're right down the road from um, Hershey, Pennsylvania, the sweetest place on earth. We have an Amtrak train station right in town, as well as being 15 minutes from um, Harrisburg International Airport. So we have access um, to a lot of different opportunities for transportation. Students are also allowed to have cars on campus. We have an enrollment of almost 1900 students. We are considered a residential college. The majority of our students do live on campus all four years. Um, the, the campus is in the town of Elizabethtown. We're just three blocks right off the main street. And the town of Elizabethtown has about 12,000 residents. So we have all the amenities of a small town with shops and cafes and restaurants. And we're close to Harrisburg, Lancaster City, and Hershey. We're right smack dab in the middle. So um, we're located in Lancaster County. So for any of you who are aware of Dutch country or the land of the Amish, that's where we are located. And this just gives you some of the facts about E-Town. Um, average class size um, is uh, 18, 13 to 1 student faculty ratio. Um, and uh, you can see 100,000 service hours volunteered annually. Our motto is educate for service. We feel that learning is most noble when used to benefit others. These are all the different schools that we have. We have seven schools and we have uh, 160 majors, minors, and concentrations divided out among those schools. I think something that makes E-Town different than other colleges is we require every student to graduate with two signature learning experiences. Many students do more than two, some do all five, but you will graduate with at least two and it is a requirement of graduation. We feel that what you learn in the classroom and how you apply it to a real life experience is very important. Um, so uh, when you go out for that first job interview or you're applying to grad schools, you can say, this is what I learned in the classroom and this is how I applied it to a real life experience. Like I said, most of our students do live on campus. We have guaranteed housing all four years and we have eight different residential options, six traditional residence halls, primarily for our freshmen and sophomores. And then our older students really do prefer a more independent um, living option. So we do have an on-campus apartment complex and on-campus townhouse apartments. Um, lots of opportunities for eating on campus. You'll never go hungry. You'll see them all listed there. We have our own Starbucks and the Blue Bean Cafe that sells all Starbucks products. We also have a Starbucks kiosk in the library. The Jay's Nest and the Marketplace are in our student center. 
One is an all you care to eat venue and the other's kind of like a, like a mini mart made to order that has extensive hours. The Fresh Nest is over in our athletic center and we also have a mobile J truck and all of our food is made on campus by our own staff. We have 24 intercollegiate varsity teams, club sports, intramurals, and over 76 clubs and organizations. So there's always something to do on campus. We require uh, the application, an official high school transcript, and one letter of recommendation from a teacher or guidance counselor. We are test optional this year. We do require SAT or ACT scores for our physician assistant program. And once your application is complete, we will get you a decision within two to three weeks. And then you have until May 1st to make your final college decision. We do use the common application. We also have our own, but we get primarily um, common applications as the largest number that we receive. We have a variety of scholarships that go to more than half tuition. We have other scholarships as well. Mosaic is a diversity scholarship. We do have a music performance scholarship for all majors. You do not have to be a music major or minor to um, audition. And the stamp scholarship is a full tuition scholarship that we award to 10 incoming freshmen every year. We also have the Bonner scholarship that is for students who have been involved in a lot of different types of service activities. And then of course, need-based aid, we have 20 million set aside every year and 100% of our students do receive financial aid. Lots of opportunities to visit. If you go to our visit website, we'd love to host you on our campus and see um, and show you what E-Town's all about. We have our counselors available um, you know, to serve you and address any of your questions. I am the admissions counselor for students from New York State. We all have um, our different travel territories where we work with our students. Um, and I hope you'll just come out and take a look at us in the near future. Thank you. Great, thank you. The next representative is from Florida Southern College. You are on mute. Thank you, sorry about that. So I'm so glad you guys were able to join us this evening. Um, my name is Sherry Brown and I work with students in the tri-state area. So New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Um, I'm an alum of Florida Southern College. I'm also a current student. Um, so we have about 3,000 students on our campus, uh, about 2,500 of which are undergraduate level students. And our claim to fame is we are the world's largest single site of Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture. Our campus is about 115 acres, very walkable, no main roads in the campus. And we're located in Lakeland, Florida, which is right in the middle of the state of Florida. Uh, we are just right in between uh, Tampa and Orlando. So right there in the central Florida area. Um, only about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes from the coastline, um, about 50, 55 minutes, depending on uh, traffic to head over to Disney, um, and about 40 minutes from Tampa. So a great little central location. Um, Lakeland has about 100, 120,000 residents. So it's not a super small uh, city, but it's not really huge either. It's just right, right in the middle. Um, so, oh, thought I, there we go. So we have over 70 programs of study for you to choose from. We have our School of uh, Business, uh, Health Sciences, Theater Science, Art. Um, we do have a direct entry nursing program. And we also have uh, some four plus one options. In other words, you would earn your bachelor's and your master's in five years. And we have that available for you in accounting, in business, and in education as well. Uh, small class sizes, only about 18 to 20 students in the classroom to one professor, and you'll always be taught by a professor. You will not be taught by a grad student. 
Um, and this really paves the way for a lot of the experimental learning that we have, a lot of undergraduate research that goes on in our um, classrooms and outside of our classrooms. Uh, you're really learning through experience. For example, our bio students take part in what's called the uh, Tiny Earth Network. It's a research study on antibiotics that Yale University started. So we're happy to be part of that. So across all majors, you're definitely going to get a chance to learn through experience. Uh, we have a few guarantees that we um, want that I want to break down for you. Our three guarantees are travel abroad, uh, internship, and graduating in four years. Um, travel abroad, the way we guarantee this is the cost of these trips are actually embedded in your tuition. It's a seven to 10 day trip. You can travel outside of your major if you'd like. Um, so that's a great guarantee. Our second guarantee is an internship. We uh, we'll provide you and guarantee that we will provide you with an internship across all majors. This is definitely an experience that you need to um, have. Uh, employers are really looking for experience in their new hires. So this is something we can guarantee. And lastly, graduating in four years right now, the nation's average is about five and a half to six years. So we uh, are very transfer credit friendly. So that's one way we guarantee it. Um, so any of those AP, IB classes, ACE, um, dual enrollment, of course, will transfer in and go towards your gen eds and or your electives. We, uh, you know, our objective about of these guarantees really feeds our statistic um, of our students. 97% of our students are either entering grad school or entering the workforce. Um, and on the bottom of the screen are some of the employers that we've worked with. Um, our students have either become employed by or fulfilled internships through. We do guarantee housing all four years. Um, and we have a lot of clubs and organizations that you can choose from. We are division two. Um, as far as sports is concerned, and we have a really strong intramural program as well. Um, our clubs and organizations range from student government, multicultural clubs, um, and everything in between. So there's, there's really something for everyone. And we're not a suitcase campus. In other words, the campus doesn't just clear out on the weekends. There's always something to do. As far as applying, we do not charge an application fee. We have our own Florida Southern College app, but of course we also take the Common app um, or the Coalition app, whichever you'd like to use. We are test optional, so we do require, of course, your high school transcripts. We do require a letter of recommendation, but again, the test score is um, an optional uh, thing to submit there. We, on the bottom of the screen, those numbers you see are just minimum, or not minimum requirements to gain acceptance. What that is, is an average class profile. Uh, we do have scholarships, some which do require a separate application. Uh, our merit scholarships do not require separate, separate application. And your um, admissions counselor is also your financial aid counselor. So we will certainly walk you through everything, even federal aid. Um, so definitely no worries on that. And um, just, you know, we've got some visit programs coming up. So keep an eye out for those and I'm to get my time, turn my timer off there. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Very helpful information. Thank you. Just a friendly reminder that if anyone has any questions at all, to feel free to submit those questions using the Q&A button towards the bottom of your screen. Any questions at all, our representatives are here to assist. The next representative is from Lawrence Technological University. Hello, everyone. My name is Jane. I am one of the admissions counselors at Lawrence Tech University. I want to thank you so much for coming in and participating in this event today. Lawrence Tech is a dedicated to your success. The school offers you a culture of innovation, leadership, and entrepreneurship. Our programs are designed to prepare you to thrive in a competitive technological fields of today 
as well as what's going to happen in the future. We are located about 30 minutes north of the city of Detroit. Um, and the city we are in is Southfield, Michigan. Uh, it is Oakland County's one of its most prosperous areas in uh, the state of Michigan. Um, and the area in and of itself has been identified as an emerging dynamic business center for architecture, engineering, and technology. And why is it so important? It's because it gives our students great advantages as they can just basically find internships, co-ops, even job placements within a very few minutes of our campus. Our LCU career placements over the past 10 years has been anywhere ranging from 85 to 92%. Uh, this past year, 92% of our students at the time of graduation were employed in their field of study or were going on to grad school. A quick history about our school is we were founded in 1932 on Henry Ford's Model T plant. The Employees of Mr. Ford would go to work during the day and go to school at night where the first program we ever offered was mechanical engineering. They were taught the theoretical end of engineering and the next day take it to the work environment and put it into practice. Thus a theory that Lawrence Tech still holds for almost 90 years is theory and practice. Fast forward today, we have over 100 programs in the Colleges of Architecture and Design, which is a five-year master's program for, the, for architecture, should you decide to go there. Uh, we do interior design as well as graphic arts, transportation design, and industrial design. Our second college is the College of Arts and Sciences. The two largest programs in there would be, of course, computer science, which also a five-year master's degree could be earned as well as the nursing program, which is a direct entry program. Business and information technology, again, a five-year or a four plus one program as most schools know it as, you can absolutely receive an MBA and go into uh, accounting, finance, marketing, even entrepreneurship through that program. And last but not least is engineering, which is basically the foundation of the school with mechanical engineering, of course, being one of our strongest programs and having um, everything from architectural engineering to robotics engineering, you will find an engineering degree that you are looking for. We have approximately 3000 students on our campus. Our faculty ratio is 11 to one. Um, average class sizes are anywhere from about 20 students to 25 students max. We have not seen more than that in all the years I've been at the university. So very small class sizes, very personalized. We have a program called the LTU Zone. What it is, is all of our undergrad students are given uh, laptops with industry standard software. So throughout their course of study and their undergrad programs, uh, students will be working with hopefully the best of what industry has to offer. Our goal is for our students to hit the ground running. Housing, um, we have four housing units, approximately one third of our students do reside on campus. There are four dorms with all the amenities a student would need. Uh, the best of course is students can roll out of bed and be in their classroom in less than five minutes. Uh, there are free laundry, free parking, and even freshmen are allowed to bring their cars and have them on campus. Uh, we have access to flexible meal plans. Freshmen are not required to live on campus unless they play a varsity sport. However, we strongly encourage that all freshmen, if possible, reside on campus just to get their networking skills and have the uh, compatibility of your fellow students to help make your transition from high school to college um, more meaningful, if you want to put it that way. Tech Transit, you don't have a car. Tech Transit, we have a mini bus system that will get you around campus uh, into the areas around the Southfield area. Athletics. We offer over 60 different clubs and organizations, everything from special interest groups uh, to groups that are geared towards your profession, to your major, uh, Greek life, 
NAIA is the division of athletics that we play in, which is equivalent, I am told, to a D3. Uh, what makes this nice is our uh, coaches do have the ability to award athletic scholarships uh, should a student deem um, it deem worthy of that. Um, a side which is not listed, listed up here on our athletics is eSports, which is brand new this year. Uh, we do have band, a dance team, a drum line, um, and competitive cheer. Scholarships are also available for each of those, um, those sports as well. Admissions. Um, what you're seeing, this is our average. The average GPA for last year was roughly a 3.0. Um, we do not, that is just what our average incoming student was. But for the admissions, we of course require an application. It can be the LTU application or the common application. We require, of course, your um, high school transcripts and any college transcripts if you are a dual enrolled student. Uh, we did go test optional for the 2021 and 2022 um, academic year. Uh, but if you have taken um, those SAT or ACT scores, um, we really strongly suggest that you return, that you know, you send them in with your transcript, uh, with your application. We take a holistic approach to reviewing your application. Um, and aside from that, uh, merit-based scholarships are awarded automatically. And um, we, pair together two of your highest scholarships that the LTU offers to you. Apply and visit. You can have a waiver code for LTU 1932 on our application only. Um, and we just encourage you to come and visit us. Wonderful, thank you. The next representative is from Savannah College of Art and Design. Hi everybody, good evening. Uh, my name is Chris Peterson. I'm the Assistant Director of Admission for the Savannah College of Art and Design, better known as SCAD. So I'm thrilled to be able to talk to you um, all tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and just share my screen. Uh, so this way you can see exactly what I'm looking at on that end. Uh, but in case you didn't know, Savannah College of Art and Design, uh, we are the largest art and design school in the entire country right now. We have over 15,000 students. We're spread out amongst two different campuses in the state of Georgia. Uh, and we have more majors and minors in art and design than any other school out there right now. For instance, we've got 45 majors and 75 minors. So that's a lot of different things that you can get your hands on while you're here at SCAD. Uh, we are primarily based in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, if you've ever seen Savannah, it's an absolutely gorgeous city. The entire city is a national historic landmark district where we have over 80 buildings for our students. Uh, so students that are interested in animation or fashion or film um, actually have their entire buildings to themselves. And better yet, these buildings are open 24 hours a day to them as well. Um, in addition to being in Savannah, Georgia, uh, we also have a campus in Atlanta, Georgia. And Atlanta right now is going through um, a real renaissance and growth period. Uh, more companies than ever before are moving to Atlanta to start their businesses, move their headquarters. Um, there's a lot of activity and exciting things happening there, which has led to some amazing job opportunities for our students. In fact, some of our largest employers are coming out of the greater Atlanta area. Companies like Delta Airlines, Coca-Cola, and then literally across the street from us is the headquarters of Cartoon Network. So a lot of our students, um, especially in animation, are getting hired right away, which has been very, very exciting. Uh, plus for our film and television students, uh, Atlanta right now is basically being called Hollywood of the South, uh, where more film and television production is going on there uh, than any other city in the country, which includes Hollywood, and New York. So a lot of exciting things. And when you're accepted to SCAD, you are accepted to both of these campuses at the same time, which means you can bounce back and forth between Savannah and Atlanta um, as much as you like. So tons of opportunities there for you uh, to take advantage of both of those resources um, in those areas. <clears throat> when it comes to our majors, uh, we have a lot of them and they're listed here on our website at scad.edu. Um, you can find all of our information about these majors, but we have majors here that you're going to recognize from a lot of other institutions, um, majors like photography or illustration or graphic design. But we also have majors here that you're not going to find anywhere else because we're the only school in the country that has some of these programs. So you, for instance, have a program in what's called immersive reality. So for students that want to get into um, VR, AR, XR, you've got so many different opportunities 
uh, to get involved in this major, which is really revolutionizing not only the entertainment industry, but also healthcare, uh, education, finance. Uh, it's really amazing to see how much opportunity is out there for our students. Uh, we also have a brand new major called the Business of Beauty and Fragrance. Uh, for, so for students that want to get into um, fragrance design, um, cosmetic marketing, things like that, uh, that's a fantastic program for you on that end. The important thing to know is that anytime that we start to see that an industry is starting to boom um, and create a lot of jobs, uh, we will sometimes create majors just to support that one industry so that this way we can become the first destination for companies that are hiring creative students like yourselves. So lots of opportunities <clears throat> excuse me, on that end um, as well. And that really is what makes SAD different than a lot of other um, institutions out there is our attention to career development. We wanna make sure that our students have every opportunity and advantage uh, when it comes to getting prepared for creative careers. So we do that through things like internships, networking events. We have a wonderful program here called SCAD Pro. We actually bring companies to our classroom to do projects with our students. And these are just some of the companies that we've had over the past couple of years. So imagine you're a senior and you're about to graduate and you've got Coca-Cola, Google, Adult Swim, NASA on your resume with portfolio pieces to go with it, that's going to put you at a completely different level for job competition by the time that you graduate. Um, finally, real quick, I just want to touch on the admissions process because we are different than a lot of other institutions uh, that you might be looking at. First and foremost, SCAD does not require a portfolio to get into the school. We, um, when we're looking at a student's application, we are looking at your academic profile first and foremost. So your grades, your test scores, things like that. That's what we're looking at first. But then portfolios, those count towards scholarships. So still absolutely give us a portfolio because that will qualify you for some great scholarship opportunities that you'll receive in addition to any potential academic scholarships uh, that you might qualify for on that end as well. So tons of opportunities on that end. We do what's called rolling admission here. We have our own application, which is on our website. Uh, we do also accept the Common App um, as well, but um, lots of opportunities to be able to apply. Um, juniors, in case you're watching this, um, you can absolutely apply to SCAD today if you wanted to as well. We do accept applications from juniors during their junior year. That will go ahead and start that application process for you um, on that end. What I'm going to do as well as I'm in the chat, I'm going to put my contact information in there. So this way, if anybody has um, any questions um, about the admissions process, more than happy uh, to help you out at any time. But um, thank you so much for Give me some time tonight to speak to you. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Just another friendly reminder that if anyone has any questions at all, to feel free to submit those questions using the Q&A button towards the bottom of your screen. We encourage you to submit any questions about the college application process, or even if you have a specific question for any of our schools here tonight. Um, we also encourage you to include the school name when possible. Our last representative, but certainly not least, is from Virto Education. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, hopefully you can see and hear me in the screen. Um, thank you, Catherine. Uh, and thank you to all of my lovely colleagues on this call. It's good to see everybody. It's um, I'm ready to connect with people in person again. But uh, until then, I'm taking notes from all of you as far as your, your presentations go. Uh, I really appreciate everybody's time today. Um, yeah, so hi, uh, my name is Ned. I'm here from Virto Education. So we're a little bit different than probably most colleges that you're seeing in spaces like this. Um, we are essentially a travel study organization and we uh, work with about 70 colleges to do semesters abroad. So let me get through it really quickly. So our three kind of tenants are connecting you to the world, sharpening your mind and discovering yourself. And here is our mission to prepare global leaders and transform access to higher education through a coming of age first year start to college abroad. So our first pillar is to help connect you to the world. Uh, so these are our semesters we have in England, Italy, Spain, Costa Rica, Ireland, Czech Republic and Argentina. And I'll go through each of those pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I won't talk through every single point because I know we're limited on time. But that is essentially those are our seven locations. Uh, and while you're in on these locations, uh, you're also going to be, it's an academic program by nature, you're going to be taking 12 to 16 college credits when you're with us uh, per semester, so you can choose to do one semester or two with us, 
uh, before moving on to your college of choice. And so much of our classrooms are, you, you still will be in classrooms, but a lot of the time you will just as often be out in the field learning. So whether that's art history in Florence, or if that's uh, diving with manta rays in Costa Rica, uh, there's a really good balance of experiential learning as, as well as classroom experience. And here are some more pictures. Uh, this is, I think this is all in Costa Rica. I know the one on the left is. Um, and our third pillar to discover yourself, to challenge yourself, do something different, uh, get out there in the world before you dive into your, you know, the rest of your college experience and increase your self-confidence, your self-reliance, figure out kind of why you're doing what you're doing, why you're going to college. Maybe it's narrowing down your interests. Maybe it's getting that hands-on experience that you really might have a hard time getting elsewhere. Um, so that's a little bit about that. Without further ado, I'll dive a little bit into each of our semesters. So this is uh, Seville, Spain. Um, so you can see a selection of our courses on the left. I've highlighted a few. Uh, one of the big things about this one is that you can get some pretty serious Spanish done uh, if you're interested in that, as well as you know speaking it in your day-to-day -day life, of course. Uh, Western civilizations, huge to take a class like that in Europe. Same thing with art history. Uh, you can see other details about program costs. Uh, all of our programs are semester long, so about 14 and a half weeks. Uh, like I mentioned, 12 to 16 credits. All the accommodations, so it might be student apartments or it might be more dorm style, but uh, those will change based on location. And you can see them all here and you can also see them on our website. Um, examples of some activities that we've done. Some are academic, some are not academic. So some are uh, less optional and some are optional but some of these are flamenco performances, going to a soccer game, um, cooking classes, things like that. I'm gonna go through all of these pretty quickly because I know we're limited on time again. Uh, here's our semester in Florence, um, similar details. Uh, there are some different classes, no matter where, uh, depending on what location you're at. So art history, again, huge in Florence. Astronomy, kind of the birthplace of astronomy here in Italy. Uh, introduction to business class and some activities that students have done in Florence before, uh, cooking classes, horseback, city bike tours, and uh, of course, a ton of famous landmarks, museums, uh, historic places. Here are some pictures of our students in Florence from this semester, actually. Um, and we have a semester in London, England, uh, which is particularly good for students who are really interested in math, business, um, any kind of like global culture. I mean, London is an extremely global, global city. Um, so it's a lot to do in that way. Theater, of course, uh, British literature, you can learn about the you know, British literature and then go out and, and see it for yourself. Um, some, again, examples of activities there in London, theater trips, again, kind of a once in a lifetime thing, visiting parliament, maybe you're interested in political science. And again, soccer games, of course. And we have a semester in Prague. Um, less details on classes on this one because it is a brand new semester for this coming spring, um, but we'll have done it before by the time students are really signed up in the fall. Um, here are some examples of activities that we anticipate. Um, so including overnight trip to Vienna, uh, Austria or Auschwitz in Poland. And of course, optional, we have uh, language exchanges, hockey, soccer games and farmer's markets. But Again, Prague is a very global place. And uh, again, with each of our European semesters, it is very easy to travel throughout Europe while you're there. And there is a lot of built-in time to travel on your own when you're with us. So it's not totally structured and you have a good amount of freedom uh, when you're on a Virto semester. Um, finally, we have a semester in Dublin here. And here are some examples of possible activities and excursions that we anticipate. Again, Dublin is also brand new to us. So this spring will be our first go at it, um, but you can expect some day trips to Howth and uh, Kilkenny Castle. And I'm gonna speed through. Uh, and finally, we have a semester in Buenos Aires. Uh, similar things, similar details, overnight trip to, uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, but in Uruguay. Um, and optional, we have tango, uh, again, soccer games. We have a semester in Costa Rica. Uh, which is particularly good for students who are really interested in biology, environmental science, uh, things like that. You're really out there in nature. Again, some activities that students have done. 
And I would just want to quickly go through how this actually works, because again, it is a little bit different and we recognize that. So you just complete a virtual education uh, application by submitting a transcript and a 500 word writing sample. It can be the same thing as any other essay that you'd submit for a college, uh, for any other college. Uh, we do take the FAFSA. Um, we have a bunch of partner colleges, about 70, but we're able to work with colleges who are not partners as well. Um, and financial aid, like I mentioned, we take the FAFSA. Uh, our semesters are built to be as affordable as possible. We have our own in-house uh, merit and need-based scholarships as well. Um, and what are your next steps? We have an info sheet. I'll drop a link in the chat. Um, and it is important to have your passport, a little bit about safety here. And I do wanna highlight some of these statistics here. Uh, about a third of our students are first generation. Third of our students are receiving uh, our highest scholarship amount. Uh, a third of our students are Pell Grant recipients. So it's really designed to be as inclusive as possible. You can journey alongside our students on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, and our website, of course. And if you have questions, please do reach out to us, virtueducation.org, admissions at virtueducation.org, or you can reach out to me and I'll drop my information in the chat as well. You can scan this code uh, to also learn more. And oh, I will stop you. there. Sounds good, great information. Um, thank you so much to all our representatives. Again, great information shared. Um, and I know it'll be helpful for those who are going through the college application process. Um, at this time, we do have some time left. And so I invite all our representatives to please go ahead and turn on your cameras to get ready to unmute yourselves for our Q&A portion of the session. Our first question here is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? What advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So we'll go ahead and get started in the same order in which you all presented in. Um, I think the best advice I could give is to get out and visit and visit a variety of schools, um, see what resonates with you. Um, it's, it's important um, to be there in person and, and um, you know, you can't see everything from a website or, um, you know, a piece of uh, mail. So get out, visit, ask questions, and, you know, check out big, small, and in between. Yeah, and I, I definitely would echo that. Um, definitely, you know, even if you think, oh, I definitely want to go to a big state school, or I definitely want to go to a really small private college, get out there and visit all of them because a college, your college experience is gonna be based on a feeling on how you feel when you visit a particular college campus. So do your best, do your best to get out there and really explore. I've always said the same thing. Um, everything that the two ladies prior to me have said, um, just get into visit large schools, small schools, um, and, and just, you'll get a feel for campus. And once you're on those schools, just even walking around, you'll get a feel, do, is this feel right to me? There's just a gut feeling that will happen for you. So um, that's my best advice too. Visit big, visit small, visit urban, visit rural, just find, you'll find what you're looking for. And if the campus feels right and the program you're looking for feels right, you know you're gonna be successful finishing. Absolutely. Um, and I would just add too, there's no such thing as a silly or stupid question. Um, you know, this is your time to really make sure your priorities are met, your questions are answered, and you get all the information um, that you need. So I encourage whether you're taking a tour or talking to uh, admissions representatives like ourselves individually, um, ask every single question that you possibly can, uh, because the more information that you have, the better decision uh, that you can make down the road. But uh, there's no such thing as a stupid or silly question at all. I agree with everything that my colleagues have said here. And I would just also reiterate that uh, no matter what school you're looking at, they almost definitely will be able to put you in touch with current students. Maybe it's tour guides, maybe it's just kind of a average current student that they have. Uh, definitely take advantage of that. Um, and if you wanna talk to anyone else like professors or something like that or specific professor in a major that you're interested in, 
uh, just reach out and ask because people can put you in touch with those people and that can help you get a sense in addition to seeing the campus, get to know some of the people there. And I think that can help you see yourself in that situation or not. Um, definitely all great advice, um, especially, um, I always say it's always great to hear, especially from those who work at the respective institutions to offer advice and tips and suggestions, because um, it can be a very stressful time. And so it's always really helpful um, to get that advice um, during this process. Um, our next question here is, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? What's one thing you want students to remember about your school? I think at E-Town, it's our motto, educate for service, that we're preparing um, students for lives of service. And it, it doesn't mean that you have to be a nurse or a teacher. Um, it's just that we're hoping that what resonates in, in our students once they graduate is that they will continue to give back, whether it's locally in their own communities, you know, or at the larger state or national level. level. I would say our, our guarantees, I love our guarantees. Um, we guarantee again that travel abroad trip and um, the graduation rate, but I, I think so, so much more important is, or not more important, but really important is the internship. We guarantee that internship. Um, and that's an experience that you, you just need to have, so. I would say that, um... Our theory and practice motto, our textbook theory, and our hands-on practice that we really try to uh, give you the whole picture that you're going to be able to hit the ground running uh, when you graduate from us and that we really try to inspire our students to become leaders and to take that leadership role and not to be afraid to be an entrepreneur and think outside the box and think about what hasn't even happened yet. So we really try we want them to remember that it's all about the student. When you come to our campus, when you become a Blue Devil, you are, you're just one of our students. You're part of our family and all we want you to do is grow and succeed. Absolutely. And I would say with SCAD, um, it's, it's really the fact that there are careers that are based in your creativity and your hobbies and your passions. And um, I think there's too many times out there we've heard that stigma of, starving artists or there's no opportunities in art design and, and nothing could be further from the truth. There's actually been, never been a better time to get into some of these industries uh, than right this second. And um, in universities like SCAD um, are, are doing a great job of finding those opportunities, bringing those companies to our campus, meeting with our students and seeing their work firsthand. So uh, those possibilities are out there um, and uh, don't be discouraged to think that, you know, they're not. And I would just say for Virto education, I mean, you can travel the world, you can have fun, you can earn college credit, and we'll help you get into the school of your dreams. Um, that's how I'll keep it short and sweet. And that's a great way to end, honestly. Each institution is truly unique. Everyone offers and brings something different to the table. Um, and so something to consider, um, again, during this process. So again, thank you so much to our representatives. We really appreciate um, all the knowledge um, and all the great information um, and for just being here and joining us today. And thank you to each of you for being here. As we close, there'll be a very quick five question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback is extremely helpful. This is one of many college presentations being offered. So feel free to check the schedule on the website for more. And lastly, all sessions are being recorded including this one, and will be av available later on demand at strivescan.com slash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. Again, thank you all and have a great evening.